Hey guys, and welcome back to Terror from the Deep. When we last left off, uh, we were doing a mission involving something. <laughs> I can't actually remember. It's been a good little while since I've recorded these videos. Uh, mainly because I've been working on other projects. And we were actually quite far ahead of this game. Anyway, enough about that. Let's explore. Hopefully we don't have anything too nasty to worry about. Right, you. Let's get you up. And who else have we got here? Nico, the drummer of Iron Maiden. Oof. Oh, Gilman. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Um, she's got 30 in the tank, so we can go for a snap. And, yes, well, it's about what we could have expected, I suppose. Uh, so just you over there, that's fine. Ooh. We do have the Disruptor Pulse Launcher, which is wonderful uh you don't have nothing what do you have oh okay that will do nicely can you yes you can can you yes you can can you yeah oh. god damn it uh do any of you guys have nades yes you do see if we can actually get that up and over there we go Aaron that's more like it buddy nice um, I'm gonna leave you in the ship I might get you airborne but it doesn't really help right now so we're not gonna bother what armor have you got oh that's right they don't all have the iron armor do they Do that for now. Um, yeah. Okay, let's start peeling people out because we kind of need to at this point. Uh, stun dude. Let's get you rolling up. Oh, yeah, nice. You've got the good armor. Okay. You can. S you know what? You're going to actually get out of the ship just so we don't have to keep opening the door every turn. Oh. Okay, interesting. Right, well, um, you go spot me a Gilman, please. And let's see if we... Ah, there you are. There you are. Right, you. Aim shot. Not bad. Not bad at all. We shall take that. Alright, let's roll the tank up. Still no sign of the sub. Okay. Let's get some people airborne for now. Uh, you can also get airborne and get you too high. You. Now, these guys. You. You can also get airborne. We can have our snipers just like chill back over here, really. Um, do we need three snipers pointing that way? <sighs> Probably not. To be honest. Okay, we can actually change levels with the mouse wheel, which is actually quite nice. Right, cool. Let's start peeling people around. Don't think we really need... Ah, uh, you can stay there. You... You know what? Why don't you go around that way and have a little look-see? See what you can find. At least we are tucked away in this corner down here, which hopefully will work in our favour, but... You know, this is XCOM. Nothing so far. 
All right. Let's keep exploring with our tank. Oh, okay. So that's the edge of the map there. Sweet. Now, if I was an alien ship, where would I be? Let's actually get the snipers to move up just a little bit. Snipers. Yeah. want to keep them... high. Just so that renders... Uh, Nades totally ineffective against them. Um, yeah, because I think some, well, most grenades have an explosion width of one tile above, I think. It's something like that. Okay. Um, we'll get you out there as well. It does take, actually, a surprising amount of TUs to get these people. Uh, up to their height distance. Their height distance? Eh, you know what I mean. Okay. Well, maybe you don't. I don't know what I mean half the time, let's be honest. It's so primitive to be using this kind of uh, armor technology, you know? I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. Ooh! Hey, look. Hey. Ooh, I appreciate you have the pulse disruptor launcher, but could you please not use all of that? Because um, I'm just saying, dude, I really want that ammo for myself. I hope you understand. Ah, uh, it sucks such ass when they go ha uh, ham with it. But, did you notice how inaccurate they are? Which is kind of interesting as well. Luckily our tank didn't get damaged there. Okay. Yeah, not a fun weapon uh, when the aliens use it against you, but I'm very surprised that they didn't hit us. Ooh. Yep. Yep. Maybe I should stop talking. Where the hell did that shot come from? Where did that come from? Look at the explosion radius of it. It's gnarly. It's freaking lethal, man. Um, I guess... Oh, God. Spread out, people. Let's get everyone reserved for a snap. Um, oh, right, I see. Oh, for some reason I had it in my notes that we were against a small. My dudes, that is not a small. Okay. This just got more interesting. Bearing in mind that they have, I think they have two rounds each on them. And he's only fired twice. Uh, he's only fired once. Which is bad. Okay. Um, well, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful that these things keep missing, but at the same time, I want them in my back pocket. Could you please stop firing this ordnance that I really want into the, it, pissing it into the wind, should we say? I don't know how many shots they've got each. Although I suppose if we can get some Zubite from this, it won't be like a total loss. Maybe we should start nuking these guys. Might save some soldiers that way, but uh, we might also... Blow up some valuable equipment, which we really, really, really don't want to do. I don't think we're going to find anyone up here. 
but we're going to send them off anyway, just in case. Now, you can stay back there with your weapon. I don't know if they, like, automatically see you by default. Or if they actually have to have line of sight on you. I'm not sure. I have turned some of the line of sight stuff on. But I think that only um, makes a difference in regards to the mind control stuff. I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh god. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. You take a knee. You. You 34. Take a knee. Okay, that's fine. Maybe don't take a knee then. Do whatever the hell you want, my dude. So, we've got to train these rookies up. There's definitely someone in there which uh, is kind of concerning. Now, we need to get ready to land. Who's closest? You. Can you actually get on? No. no keep moving forwards. Little by little. And hopefully, we... Oh, we can actually see inside now. But unfortunately, if we can see inside... Uh, they can see us because that's how it works me laddos wouldn't mind to get the stun guy rolling up there two stun guys actually yeah you buddy just just get up there because I really want this guy to start taking some prisoners oh he didn't have a weapon. And I don't know who hit him. It was you. Um, good work, that man. So you can keep exploring over here then. Oh, I can't believe we lost the tank. I mean, it's not, not an issue. We can, we can replace the tank easy enough, but... Uh, we've got to wait for it to arrive. Oh, God. That's the trouble. And that was a terrible misclick there. Alright. So we've got the team ready to breach. Can they? Oh, that's all one level, isn't it? Yeah, it is, actually. So. You guys. Can all move in, but. I don't want to have any more surprises from up here, so you boys can keep scouting. The only problem with scouting is that leaves him in full view of this over here, which, yeah, that's not great. Now, before you move up, I want to start getting these guys closer together so they can cover each other a little bit better. Yeah, that'll do. 40 and 30 for a snap. You may be 27. What do you need? 25. Uh, okay. That'll do. Ooh. Yeah, I'll have enough time units to turn and shoot. That'll do for now. Oh, God. Why are these... Why are these guys running around with no weapons? Uh, that I don't know. Right, so we've got one there. Can we? You can see him. Wouldn't mind this guy alive, you know. What do you need to fire? 20... S no. 26. Could you go there? You can see him. Snap. Uh, of course you can't. That would have been silly. Why would you assume that you could see this guy and shoot this guy? God damn it. 60%. Back of the head. That's him gone. Alright. Mm. And you boys keep exploring. 
I don't trust it. I really don't trust it. I suppose, really, we could have got him to launch um, around in there, but again, I don't know, guys. I don't trust it at all. Let's get these boys closer. Each time they get a step closer, they get a little bit more accurate. You know, I never thought this mission was going to be this kind of intense. Really? Reactions? Do you have them? Oh, thank God for that. It's <laughs> just like wildly blind firing at these guys. Ah, oh, Jesus. Anyway, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We won. We won. We got a good hit. Don't know why I'm saying we won. <laughs> Getting a good hit and winning is not the same thing. Um, let's get you, get you there. Uh, to use reserved. You know, face that way. That's fine. Go back to reserving. Now you boys can provide some level of overwatch and you guys carry on exploring out here don't think there is much out here at all but hey this is XCOM and XCOM has a way of screwing you over in ways that you can't imagine until it actually happens Ooh, nope Still nothing. Yeah, because I think when an alien emerges, uh, the reaction takes a test of reactions fire skill, how many TUs you have left, and your positioning, and all that kind of stuff. And it checks against the alien stats as well. So there's quite a lot that goes into that role. Yep, thinking this place is clear. See if these boys want to drop in. Oh, God. Oh. 32. Okay. Okay. Um... Can't really do anything or go anywhere though. And your back is exposed. Which, oh god. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Uh, do I have 14? How, oh, God, you don't even have a, a shot loaded. Oh, fiddlesticks. Okay. <laughs> you can't move at all now. Great. Uh, okay. Oh, who do you see? Oh, you see him too. No line of fire. What is in your way? Stop! Oh, you misclicked. Misclicked. Okay. Well, I think someone's dead. No! Someone is almost dead. How many wounds have you got? Two wounds, six health, so you are basically dead in three turns, unless... Okay. Do you see that one? You do see that one. That's fine. We need you healed. What do you mean there's no one there? Definitely someone there. Let's get... Oh. God damn it. Misclicked. Miss clicking out the ass here. 
you can see him down there. What can you give me? Aim shot 44. You can actually give me an aim shot. He didn't hit. You need to move. Get out. And you, possibly, need to come back in. Will you be the hero of the hour? Yes. And that actually wins us the game. That was really sketchy. I mean, we got some aquaplastics, which is nice. Nobody actually died either, which is also quite nice. Let's be honest here. Yeah? We've got two live aliens. Lots and lots of uh, experience bonuses, which is nice. Very nice indeed. Um, we're going to have to leave it at that then. Right, that's fine. So we do need new tank. I mean, we do have all this lovely money. Um, purchase. So let's replace the tank. We probably need ammo for it as well, don't we? Yeah, most likely. You know, we could get the Aquajet torpedo tank. Just in case we need to take a shot with it. It might actually be nice if the tank has at least a chance of uh, <laughs> taking out the enemy. Uh, I mean, it's an extra 60 bucks, uh, 60 grand, but. You know, fuck it. We won't bother. That's fine. Sell sack. What can we sell sack? Got lots of aquaplastics. Don't need the alien learning arrays. Don't need the. I'm pretty sure we don't need that. Don't need. Well, we do need that, but it is whatever, really. Don't need those. We will keep those, actually. Gilman corpses. We have so many Gilman corpses. Heavy thermic lance. No. MC readers. We're really low on Zerbite, or Zerbite, however you want to call it. Uh, sonic Cannons. Oh, we got more Disruptor Pulse Ammo. We will get rid of some of these, because we just straight up don't need that many of those. But we do have some more ammo for it, which is fantastic. Okay. Um, manufacture, what are these guys doing? Particle disturbance sensors. What are they doing over here? Particle dis oh god, no wonder we've got so much fucking money. Maybe we need to start thinking about building another base. Definitely need to think about getting that. Ooh. We need to start thinking about getting that uh, alien base down. So... If I go to base information, living quarters. Yeah, okay, so we can get 10 more scientists. Do we have a living quarters under construction? We actually don't. Uh, let's get another living quarters then, and we will get some more scientists. Oh, hang on. If I go to research... Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Mm. We actually need 50 more scientists. Um, okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. What have we got going on here? MC Lab, Living Quarters. We've got a laboratory here. Living Quarters is almost full. Laboratory... The laboratory has nobody over here, but we can only have 10 more people, which is um, yeah, we're really under living quarters. We have we, we really don't have a lot of accommodation here at all. We need more. That's the long and short of it. We just need more. Luckily, our money is going up quite rapidly. That's fine. That's fine. All we can do now is wait. We have more scientists. Um, we just put them on that. Because why not? That's fine. It's not a lot. But it will help. Uh, that's fine. Definitely need to... There we go. 
Manta. Manta's high speed craft, a one man intercept flying submarine closely resembling iron powered alien ships, a highly effective strike craft in the escalating conflict. Yeah, these things are beastie. The only problem with these is they're powered by Zarbite, and you just never seem to get enough of the stuff. I mean, if we compare it to the Barracuda. It, you know, there's no competition whatsoever. It can take nearly four times the amount of damage. Its acceleration is just ridiculously better. It's twice the speed, nearly. Yeah, it's such a better craft. Um, let's go for... Um, hmm... I think if we go for like Sonic, or was it the PWT cannon? I can't remember. I can't remember how we are ah, right to play displace a Sonic. Um, yeah, so allocate manufacture, cancel that, stop production. We want displacer Sonic. Oh, oh my god, how much the arbite does that take? Oh, shit. Mm, we're going to get it. How long is that going to take? It's only going to take 18 hours to build it. Okay. I think they're a lot stronger. If we check out the UFO, UFOpedia. Um, so, they are horrible. They look horrible as well. I... I Never liked them. They actually have more time units. They've got the same amount of health. They have a lot more armor as well. The alien technology has redefined the SWS. The ability to utilize iron displacers means that the SWS are no longer restricted to the land seabed. Sonic weaponry gives it a real advantage in battle. Yeah. Yep. So the Aquajet torpedo does eight damage. No, it does 90. The Aqua Jet. Oh, the... Hang on. Yeah, that's the Aqua Jet. Yeah, so the, the cannon only does 50 damage. Whereas this does 130. Very, very nice. Very nice. Okay. We're going to keep that bad boy then. Very expensive. Ooh. Barracuda 5, can you handle this? I'm not actually sure you can. Oh, it's landed. Can you intercept that? I'm curious. Now you've got the better weapon systems. Is it possible? No, because you're just, yeah, you're not fast enough. Uh, return to base. That's unfortunate. So we can't handle those yet, sadly. Um, okay, allocate manufacture, new production, and you bet your asses you know what we're going to be doing. You are going to be building those, and you're going to be selling them. Okay, cool. Um, sub pen, okay. Okay, that's fine. Very small touchdown, where... Get it, get it, get it, get it. Triton, actually cancel. Uh, equip submarine, Triton, crew. Oh no, actually, get you guys off. Get H back on. Um, okay, everyone is armored, aren't they? Yeah, everyone is armored. Equipment, get the displacer sonic on board. Um, more of those rounds. Okay, cool. Fine. That did actually go through, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, intercept. Triton 1. Go. And this is going to happen at night, but that's... 
Okay. Nope. Intercept. Should have sent a Barracuda over that. That was really, really shitty. Return to base. Return to base. Ah, oh, that was stupid on my part for so many reasons. Never mind. I'm just going to sit it out. Living quarters at XCOM R and D. Nice. So we don't have the workshop yet. What can we actually research over here? Um. Start projects. Okay. Might be worth just waiting in this place. Workshops 23 days away. Uh, I mean, I guess we could get some more scientists, I suppose. It's expensive, but if it means we can like... Yeah, it's like 3 million, but if it means we can shotgun through our research... Then, yeah, I mean, I think it's worth it. Yeah. Yep, I really do. I mean, financially, we're in a really good spot anyway, to be fair. Very l oh, okay, where are you? Now, intercept, you probably can't handle that. And we're actually out of time, guys. So, I'm going to leave this video here. When we come back, we are going to see if a Barracuda can handle... <laughs> if the Barracuda can actually handle the uh, the very large. Uh, I'm going to say no. And it's going to be a total and utter wipe. But we shall see. We're kind of treading water here. We need to start finishing up the tech trees. And... We need resources. Really bad. Hmm. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.